It's not St. Patrick's without corned beef and cabbage, and today we're making it in the Instant Pot. Corned beef always shrinks down, so you'll want about one pound per person if you plan on having any leftovers. For this video, I found this nice little flat cut that's just a little under three pounds, which is just fine for the two of us with leftovers for the next couple days. You can fit up to about seven pounds in a six quart Instant Pot. Rinse the beef well to remove the brining solution and save the spice packet for cooking. Leave this fat cap on for cooking. You can always trim it away later if you need to. I'm using the trivet that came with my pot so that it'll be easier to lift the beef out later. We'll need two to three cups of a flavored cooking liquid. So I'm using aromatics and spices to add to beef broth. I always feel like this tiny spice packet isn't sufficient, so I like to supplement it with a little more pickling spice. I like this one because it's got a lot of different warming spices in it. This is really good with beer instead of broth, or you could do a half and half mix if you prefer. Spreading everything out into an evenish layer so we can lay our beef right on top. I'm using this prepared horseradish to cap off the beef. It will turn sweet during cooking and becomes crazy delicious mixed with the buttery fat and briny beef. But if horseradish is a step too far, you can try with a topping of whole grain mustard or use that spice packet for this instead of adding it to the cooking liquid. This will cook on high for 75 minutes, followed by a full natural release, which should take about 15 to 20 minutes. It smells really good in here. Now I'll let the beef sit out to cool while I work on the rest of the meal. Strain or scoop out the solids as well as you can, and then we can add in our veggies. I like these small potatoes because the skin keeps them from getting mushy, but you can use bigger ones cut in halves or quarters. Potatoes on the bottom, carrots in the middle, and cabbage on top. Now we'll let this cook for three minutes on high, followed by a quick pressure release. Don't throw this broth away. Use it to pour over everything when you serve or as a cooking liquid for rice or soup some other time. My dirty little secret? The flavor profile of corned beef broth is not far off from Vietnamese beef pho, so I've been known to make a cheater pho from the leftover broth. Don't tell anyone. See how much the meat shrunk down? We got two meals for dinner and two meals for lunch a couple days later and scads of veggies to go with the other point cut that we cooked once this one was gone. Shred or slice as you like. Just make sure to cut against the grain of the meat for the best results. We usually have a standard plate like this for the main meal and then use the leftovers for breakfast hash, sandwiches, or tamale filling. <laughs> Yes, the best tamales I have ever made had corned beef as a filling. True story. I hope you enjoyed the video and we hope for health and happiness to you all this year. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe and leave a comment below on what you're making for St. Patty's this year. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.